Hey guys, Thunder E here, and you guys have been waiting for this comparison between the ROG Phone 2 and the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. So without wasting any more time, let's jump in. All right, so the ROG Phone 2 is a behemoth. It's a massive device with, of course, massive specs. Snapdragon 855 processor, uh, it is a powerful beast. This processor is really, really good. Check out our gaming video on the ROG Phone 2 so you can see full gaming performance what this thing does. Then you also have um, uh, a device that comes with a 6,000 milliamp battery, uh, which is the biggest battery I've seen on a smartphone, but a 30 watt charger to actually go ahead and fast charge the device with a quick charge 4.0. Uh, this also has uh, reverse wire charging of up to 10 watts, which you can use with either of the USB ports. You've got one at the bottom where the headphone jack is, thank God. And then you've got one on the side which actually uses uh, you use that port for the fan. That's a cooling fan to cool the system down. That fan comes with, of course, a different price model. If you're getting the 10 cent model, which is what I have here in this video, that doesn't come with a fan, although it's priced at $550 at its lowest point. So keep that in mind. Now, you can go up to 12 gigs of RAM. You can go up to 512 gigabytes of storage, expandable storage on this device. The display is where a lot of the magic happens as well. It's got a 120 hertz refresh rate on that display, super smooth, super sample level up to 240 hertz, which is nice. Then you've got trigger buttons on the on the uh, right hand side, so you can use as shoulder buttons for your games and map it to games like PUBG, where you can now have that as your scope and your your aim. You get the idea. It is great. Now moving over to the Galaxy Note 10 Plus, no slouch either. Snapdragon 855, not the 855 Plus, but it's a powerful processor and gaming on here is really good. Again, check out my full gameplay video on the Galaxy Note 10 Plus to see how that actually handles. But this comes with a 6.8 inch display. It is a lovely looking display. It looks sharp, it's vibrant, it's the best looking display. Hole punch gives you full view of what you're looking at on there. Now in terms of gaming features though, it does have its own game launcher, which allows you to check temperatures, cut off notifications and things like that but it does allow you to bring in Discord, so that's nice. So that's something that's different. They've got the Game Genie on the other hand with the ROG phone, which is a little different. We'll talk more in a second. But the Galaxy Note 10 Plus comes with a 4200 milliamp battery, 25 watt charging that charges up to, uh, that fully charges in 68 minutes, pretty fast. Wireless charging, reverse wireless charging, something that the ROG phone 2 does not have. But what about gaming performance? How do they look while gaming? So let's take a quick look at PUBG on both the ROG Phone 2 and the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. So as you can see there clearly, both devices game pretty well. I mean, if you're using the 855 Plus or 855, you're gonna get pretty much the same gaming performance. Now, the ROG Phone 2 does have a lot of features with the Game Genie, allowing you to display your, your, your uh, stats in terms of uh, FPS, temperatures right on screen. You can also remap those trigger buttons. So playing games like PUBG is better on the ROG Phone 2 than on the Galaxy Note 10 Plus because you've got trigger buttons. It's just the way it is. Uh, and that's, uh, that's a cool thing. But the performance is literally the same. The Game Genie software is so adapt on the ROG Phone 2. You can go in, customize everything, 
everything from your lighting um, to your temperatures, your game profile, performance, uh, the refresh rate of the screen, something you cannot do on the Galaxy Note 10 Plus, which has, of course, the game center, which cuts off notifications, allows you to use Discord, which is pretty huge, so you can have those chats, plus the added benefit of screen recording, which you can do on the ROG phone, but on the Galaxy Note 10 Plus, you can use the front-facing camera to record yourself as well. So there are benefits there. So when it comes to temps though, both of them ran pretty high with uh, our PUBG, which is to be expected, this game is not well optimized. ROG phone was a little cooler at 104 degrees, while the Galaxy Note 10 Plus was at 105 degrees. So take it as you will, but I would say cooling is roughly around the same for both devices. Now, let's move into another segment. What about audio? How does how do the speakers sound? You saw it when you, you were gaming, the game sounded really good, but what about a quick speaker test to see how well it functions? RG Phone 2 speakers are loud and they are clear, 107.5 decibels. That is impressive. And this is done with DTS-X. Uh, you also have the ability to customize those profiles to different genres of music and also what you actually do when it's gaming, music, or you know, or just watching the movie. You also have Dolby Atmos on the, the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. And that, was, that got 105, uh, 105 decibels. So, that's actually a good number, but not as high as what we have with the ROG Phone 2. And that's our new speaker king now. It's taking, it's taking the mark there with 107.5 decibel. That is pretty impressive. So let's move over to the cameras. The ROG Phone 2 has a front-facing camera that's 24 megapixels. The Galaxy Note 10 has a front-facing camera that's 10 megapixels. The, but they are, the front-facing camera of the Galaxy Note 10 Plus shoots at up to 10K. We'll take a look at photos from both devices. Looking at the rear cameras, we do have a 48 megapixel camera on the ROG Phone 2, main sensor, and a 13 megapixel ultra-wide. The Galaxy Note 10 Plus has 12 megapixels all across for its main sensor, its ultra-wide, and its telephoto lenses. Now, let's see what kind of images we get from both devices. Uh, as we take some photo samples. So let's start off with the front-facing camera, taking a look at the boat pictures from the ROG Phone 2 and then Note 10 Plus. Note 10 Plus has more color, um, more balance to it, while the ROG Phone seems a little bit flat with these images. Now, portrait photos, I do like what uh, the ROG Phone brings to the table. This is the cropped-in shot with the Galaxy Note 10 Plus on the right. And uh, although you can do a wider shot if you want to, I think both are rare, basically similar in terms of the front facing cameras uh, for portrait shots. Now, taking a look at just some shots of some greenery. As you know, Samsung likes a lot of the saturated colors and you can see it clearly here. Uh, the greens pop out more, even the pinks from the flowers do pop out over the more flat look from the ROG phone. Uh, still nice, I think this may be a little bit more preference, but I do like what Samsung offers with the Galaxy Note 10. Again, you can see the punchy colors here, again, looking at this uh, red flower with the, you know, the grass around. The grass uh, in the Note 10 Plus is really punchy. The green is really bright and red, while wow. it's flatter and a little bit washed out on the top of the ROG Phone 2 photo. Now, just doing some uh, city backgrounds, you can see a shot of New York City here. And the Galaxy Note 10 uh, Plus has, of course, the much uh, more vibrant colors. Uh, the clouds are still balanced, which is nice, but you can see the building colors really step stand out with the Note 10 Plus, while the ROG phone is a little bit flatter in terms of look. And as we switch over to the ultra-wide lens here, you can see that uh, the ultra-wide lens on the Galaxy Note 10 Plus is much wider. You can see more of the railing. You also get more color. Um, I really like this lens. Uh, it looks really good, especially when taking shots um, of you know scenery or the cityscape, that kind of thing. But the ROG Phone 2 is still good, just not as wide. Now moving over to night shots, this is a regular night shot here with the ROG Phone 2 and the Galaxy Note 10, this is not night mode. Uh, as you can see with this shot though, the, the Galaxy Note 10 is a bit better and less dark and gloomy. And as we move over to a night mode shot, 
you can see the 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 color difference or the, the reclaimed light color if you will from the galaxy note 10 plus you can see the building is clearer certain aspects on each building like the top of the buildings come up more rog phone not so much it just kind of brightens the picture overall now this is with the ultra wide cameras taking of course again that shot um the rog phone is really dark you can see a lot of grain the Galaxy Note 10 Plus is darker, but you can still pick out the railing, some parts of buildings around, and it's a much clearer image. And the last image we're going to take a look here is in a bar, um, taking the shot at, of course, just the bottles there on the bar. The ROG phone has much more of a yellow color, keeping in, keeping it uh, in tone to the color of the scene of the bar. The Galaxy Note 10 is a little bit brighter. You can see the candles are more lit because that's a uh, form of light source source for this image but i think um you know the rg phone does a decent job but not as great when it comes to low light photos so it's quite clear that this is where the galaxy note 10 plus excels the camera is much better i think the daytime photos from the rg phone 2 are good but when it comes to night photos and with the night mode not as sharp and not as vibrant as i would like so that's something where the galaxy note 10 plus really really does well now these devices are built differently and they have different perspective. This is something that I see with smartphones. I think there is a bigger niche market for what you're looking for. With the ROG Phone 2, your gamer, that's what you want. And you think about the things that it offers for a gamer, it gives you longer lasting battery life with 6,000 milliamps, a way to charge that faster, the fastest processor you can get, the most amount of RAM you can actually buy on a device as well, up to 12 gigs of RAM, and the software to take that to the next level with the Game Genie, being able to not just only cut off notifications, but customize lighting, uh, change, of course, uh, CPU speeds for the games you're using, uh, remap buttons in terms of using the uh, triggers uh, on the top sides of the device, uh, and all those things take things a whole way. And the display that's 120 hertz so that when you're using the touchscreen display, it feels more tactile and more responsive while you're gaming. Now, in comparison, looking at the Galaxy Note 10 Plus, yes, it can game really well and it does a good job. And Samsung looked at that as saying, hey, you might want to game with this device. But this is also geared on a different segment. We've got the S Pen, which is completely different. Allows you to take notes and write down and you can actually transfer that to text. Plus you've got the ability to use that uh, with air action. So you can actually go ahead and control your camera, control different apps, just using your S Pen. A very different feature com sets compared to what the ROG Phone 2 brings to the table. Then you also have the ability to use DeX, which allows you to connect your Galaxy Note 10 Plus to a display and run desktop-like uh, uh, applications uh, right there and then, something the ROG Phone just can't do. So to me, they are very different segments, but also the pricing is very different. The Galaxy Note 10 Plus starts at 10, uh, 1099, while the ROG Phone 2, I think right now is at 570 bucks for eight gigabytes, 128, but it will still give you the performance you're looking for. So there you have it. I'll say one's a true gaming device and one's a true productivity device. Tell me, what do you guys think? Which do you think is better for you? Which do you think actually hits the mark? Now we know what they both do well and we know what they don't do well as well in this video. So go ahead and like and share. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Leave your thoughts down below. Who do you think won this battle bit? And always enjoy your entertainment.